Hello guys, it's Nick here with The Whip Shop, and for those of you who don't know, I recently got into blacksmith work as a hobby. I got myself a 100 pound anvil from a pawn shop for 150 bucks with the stand. There it is. JHM certified anvil. And I built myself a small forge powered by a hair dryer to supply airflow so it gets nice and hot. So anyways, um, this is what I'm working on. For those of you who play the game Skyrim, uh, you may notice those horn candles. Like this, and they hold a little candle and they have a little ring here with funny little two little feet that come out. So I'm actually making this for my friend for her birthday because she likes to play Skyrim and I thought it'd be fitting. You know, she likes candles. So I'm going to make this here. I got this on eBay for 15 bucks. It's, a, uh, it's actually a buffalo horn. And what I did was I filled it with... Uh, if you can see that, I filled it with concrete, actually brick mortar, and uh, that's I fitted it for this little Yankee candle here. There's gonna be more that come with it, but but what I'm doing now is I I cut this piece of metal. This is gonna be the band that goes around here, the ring. I'm actually gonna do what's called forge welding. That's gonna be my first attempt at this. It's where you take a, a piece of metal and fold it on itself, or another piece of metal, and it sticks to itself because it's so hot. And that's going to be done with the help of a flux, is what they call it, I guess. This is borax, and you put this on here. Notice I don't really hardly know anything about blacksmithing, but I'm trying it. And that helps the metal stick to itself. Some, something with the, the chemistry and the, on a molecular level, it helps it. I don't really know how, to be honest, but it works. <laughs> so um, let's go see what we got going here. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see. There we go. So this is the forge that I built. I lined it with concrete so it wouldn't uh, melt through my... Uh, it's actually an aluminum... It's an old grill that I kind of transformed into a small forge. It has its limitations because you can't stick long pieces of metal in it because there's no room. But for stuff like this, I think it's going to work. So I'm going to put the camera down for a minute and start forging. I'm going to start on the first leg, see how it works. Be right back. Okay, so this is the first leg, how it's coming along here. So you can see that. We'll ultimately be bending this, and that's going to be one of the feet. I'm going to about ready to do the same thing with the other one. Alright, it's nice and hot. We're going to pull it out of the forge and start beating on it. So as you can see, we got a nice little foot on there now. I don't think this should be too bad at all. Oh, very easily bends. Look at that. There's one of the feet right there, one of the legs. I'm sure we'll have to fine tune it and everything. There's the first one. I'll do the second one now. I really don't even have the right tools for the job, you know. I mean, I'm just using pliers where. Okay, let's get that second leg out of the forge and bend it, bend that little foot. Uh oh. Losing heat, losing heat. Gotta work quick.
compare the two, make sure they're about even. Now I'm going to bend both of the legs, roughly bend them. And like I said, we're going to have to fine tune them later. Then we're going to start working on the band. Okay, to get the, uh, to get the curve on these legs, we're going to use what's called the horn of the anvil here. Oh boy, it's tough. You blacksmiths out there are probably laughing at me right now. I think that's a good start, what I'm going for anyway. So we're just going to put this one on the ground for now so I don't drop it again. Now we're going to heat up the other guy. You guys will get a kick out of this. I'm actually using a PVC pipe valve to regulate the airflow so we can actually you know we can full blast that'll actually get hot enough to melt metal if I'm using coal I've done that before but you, know, you can almost completely close the valve you can hear it get louder and that's so I like to keep it at about 40 eh, percent That's bending much nicer. It's hot and not letting it cool off like I did the other one. start. Maybe about here. I think I need to bend that foot a little more. Look at that. I'm using coal now because I'm almost out actually. I'm almost out of charcoal. I didn't realize this project was going to take so long. Oh great. It's going in the garage. Alright, we're going to start bending this metal. Here's the second round of shaping the metal band.
Anything you put in there, man, just turns it black. Hope that white siding will be all right from all this coal smoke. We'll see. Getting there. It's the first time I've ever used this horn on an anvil. Still needed to get a little tighter than that. So let's keep going. Put it back in the forge. There's a lot of slag in that coal. It's all sticking to each other. I think I got ripped off from my uh, my coal supplier on eBay. Who buys coal on eBay? Seriously. So now we're gonna tighten up the other side, try to get that horn shape. Try to get it the exact shape of the horn, so. It's exactly what we want. See how they're starting to be like interlaced like that? So the next step after I put a new battery in this camera is to actually weld these two guys together. What we're going to do now is we're going to take, we're going to fit it on the horn, drop in water and cool it. We're going to actually take this and weld these two pieces together like that. We're going to pour the borax on there, stick it in the forge, let it get nice and hot, and then we're going to turn this like this. We're going to take it, let me show you what I'm talking about. After it's nice and hot, we're going to slip it over this part of the anvil and start beating on that top part. And hopefully these two pieces of metal will actually weld together from the sheer heat of that forge. Let's see if we can do it. We're going to use the spore axe now to flux the metal, help it bond together. No idea if I'm doing this right. <laughs> no idea. And I think what I'm supposed to do is put it back in the forge and let it get nice and uh, something. I don't know. I think we're welding temperature. Let's do it. Take your gloves. Not working. Burn my hand, I gotta take a break. I'm gonna try that again with some thicker gloves. So I'm getting ready to pull the, uh, the metal out of the fire here. Not want to stick for some reason, guys. Really don't know why.
think we're gonna get it to stick. I really don't understand. That's the way it goes. I'm just gonna try to take the pliers and press the metal together. At this point, I'm just concerned about actually finishing this project, so it's gonna be a little sloppy. seal off that, just stick it in the furnace and make a couple times more. Okay, so I kind of stopped recording at the um, at the point where I was trying to forge weld the whole ring together. It didn't work out, so what I had to do was just go ahead and do kind of an incomplete fold for the, uh, for the ring itself. So it turned out okay. It fits on the horn fairly well. Right now I'm just in the process of um, I'm welding <clears throat> the feet onto the uh, to the ring here as you can see that it's probably more like brazing I don't really know the difference I'll just call it welding uh, yeah just getting ready to put the other one on it's gonna go right there make sure I cleaned off my metal before I welded or before I'm gotta make sure your metals clean before you weld so the uh, the metal can, it's not slippery or anything like that. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and weld the other leg on. Getting it nice and hot before I Touch it on there. There we go. Didn't quite get hot enough. And my oxygen is running out. The other side. Not too bad. It'll work. My first time I've ever welded anything right there, so I think I'm happy with it. And the problem with these though, the oxygen runs out so quick. It's 10 bucks a can, so I don't know. All right, I'm gonna let that cool and we'll give it a little test fit, see if we have to make any adjustment. All right, this thing's still pretty hot, so. Yeah, it's hot. Um, <clears throat> I'm just looking at the joints there. I'm really hoping that I got. I'm hoping that I got everything uh, to where it's not just going to be brittle on me and break off eventually. I don't think it will. It's only going to be supporting the weight of that horn, which is filled with concrete. So it's probably like a pound and a half, if that. So I think it's going to be all right. Cool. All right, I'm going to let this cool off. Right on the horn now. There you go. Not too bad. I'm happy with it. Let's see if I can. There we go. Cool. Okay. That's it, guys. Twist a little bit.
Take a look. It's kind of it's kind of rough, but not bad. So you can see what I'm talking about. The back space here is open. So yeah, guys. So there you go, guys. Here is the finished product. As you can see, I went ahead and painted the frame black just to cover up the nasty looking white markings from my sloppy welding job. So there you have it. Um, if I were to give any recommendations, uh, if, if anybody out there is wanting to try this project, um, I would recommend actually for the ring here, I'd recommend just buying a t uh, two and a, what is that like two and a half inch, three inch steel pipe and just cutting a thin ring out of it, and you'd be you know less time consuming. Or if you want to go ahead and go the full the full measures, welding these. Uh, these ends together you can do that too but if I make any more of these I'm definitely gonna go with the uh, steel pipe and see how that works so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you found it uh, entertaining and uh, maybe even inspiring um, I know it has nothing to do with whips but if anybody out there is interested in one of these things um, make kind of a cool gift for a friend or uh, your friends who are Skyrim enthusiasts uh, might get a kick out of it so if anybody's interested, let me know, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll start making uh, custom uh, Skyrim horn candle holders, whatever you call them. I don't even know what you call them. But uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.